the honeybee colony collapse completely, we're really going to struggle to feed ourselves with the variety of foods that we're accustomed to having. It's very concerning. Hi, my name is Karin Zinter, and I am the head beekeeping educator at Brooklyn Grange Rooftop Farms. So there was a law previously in New York City that prevented people from keeping honeybees. There were urban beekeepers, but very much in a stealthy fashion. In 2010, that legislation was changed and allowed beekeepers to start keeping bees in New York City openly. There's been a real explosion in interest in urban beekeeping. So every year there are more and more people getting interested in actually keeping bees in New York City. So the great thing is that bees living in urban environments can actually be even healthier in some cases than bees living in rural environments. Honeybees pollinate one out of every three bites of food on our plate. Almonds, apples, blueberries, cranberries, cucumbers, peaches. So without honeybees, if honeybees were to die, then suddenly our food becomes far less interesting. Honeybees also pollinate clover, a really important food source for cattle. If you love things like ice cream and cheese and a steak, those all come from cows and cows eat clover. Without honeybees, it would really change the landscape of the food that we have available to us and our agricultural system as we know it. In parts of the world where there has been a big decline in honeybees, they have people hand pollinate crops where honeybees used to do that work. And honeybees are much more efficient at that than humans are. Climate change is a real concern for honeybees and for beekeepers. Honeybees really rely on warm, sunny, dry weather to go out and do all of their foraging activities. As we have these more dramatic weather patterns, that can really impact the productivity of any particular honeybee colony. Unfortunately, a lot of people's immediate reaction to seeing a honeybee is to be afraid and to think that they should kill it before the honeybee can sting you. Honeybees are actually incredibly gentle and docile insects. So oftentimes people see bees and they react negatively and in fact they should instead react with curiosity. They're really not interested in human beings. You are not a flower. You do not produce nectar and pollen. Bees don't care about you. Get excited. Like, get bees. Put them in your backyard. Watch them. They're fascinating. And you can crack the hive open. You can stick your hands inside. They'll walk on you. They'll lick you, put a little honey on, and they'll, they'll taste it off your finger. It's amazing. It's like a giant science experiment that you can run in your backyard or on your rooftop. What's better than that?